On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. This video is sponsored by Creator Crafted. Use my link in the description for 10% off site wide, but more on that at the end. The Wilderness recently had a massive update that, amongst other things, introduced a new creature to the game, the Undead Pirates. These are low-level monsters, ranging from level 22 to 34, and are located at the Chaos Temple at around 11 levels deep into the Wilderness, and brings with them a few new unique items, as well as being the first monsters in the game to drop Laren's keys off task. The new uniques are a Zombie Key, which opens a chest inside of a pirate ship on the eastern shore of the Wilderness, Adamant Seeds, working as pretty much a reverse mithril seeds, allowing you to instead path east after planting instead of the west from mithril seeds. And lastly, the Teleport Anchoring Scroll, which is honestly such a dream come true for so many Slayer connoisseurs. When read, this scroll will permanently make you immune to the constant displacement teleport spam from the Elder Chaos Druids and Abyssal Demons thrust upon your character. And that teleport scroll, which is a drop rate of 1 in 20,000 from these creatures, is exactly the item we're hunting in this video. Now, even though it's only 11 levels deep into the wilderness, it is a multi-combat area and even the Elder Chaos Druids has now gained the ability to teleblock you. So we're going with a more cheaper setup, risking 500,000 GP with Black Dehyde and a Venator Bow. Another small detail before we get into the grind, the item we're hunting, the Teleport Anchoring Scroll, is on the Slayer Collection Log. So getting this, just like in my last on drop raid with the Sulfur Blades, is going to be a Collection Log slot unlock. And we have the cannon set up, and you can see on the top left, I am definitely not alone here, but even then, there are just so many undead pirates that it doesn't really matter, and they die so quickly with the cannon and the venator bow that, I mean, the case is just going to rack up like crazy. And you can see I have the loot tracker on the bottom as well to keep track of all the KC. Yo, there we go, the first zombie pirate key. These are very common, one in 24, so we're going to see a lot of them. And by a lot, I mean like near a thousand if we go on raid. And these are of course used to open the chest in the pirate ship, and we're going to do that at the end of this grind. You know, looking at the combat level of these guys around me, they seem to be around 70 to level 90 combat. And if PKers want to kill these people, which there are a lot of, they actually can't even attack me, because they need to be level 113 combat or higher to even attack me at all. So hopefully most teams that will come and clean people out here is going to be at lower combat level than can actually attack me. And then we have the first Adamant Seeds. They are unfortunately not very valuable. I think they're like... 12 GP each, so that's like 90 GP drop right there, and uh, taking up an inventory slot for that amount of money, probably not worth it. So during my first trip here at the Undead Pirates, I kind of realized I should probably buy the Teleport Anchoring Scroll and read it to stop getting teleported by these goddamn Chaos Druids. Look at this, I can't even recharge my cannon. So after this first trip, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy it, even though it is fairly expensive, it's going to speed up the grind and make it a lot nicer to do. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely getting the teleport call after this. I can't even leave, man. I've been teleported like four times now and I just want to leave. But this is what 131 KC looks like. 400k in the looting bag and then 9 zombie pirate keys. That is kind of crazy. I wonder how many keys we'll get on this grind as we can kill up to 20,000 of them. According to the GE tracker, the teleport scroll goes for like 6 million GP, so let's see if we can insta buy it. Yes, we can for 5.8 million. Not too bad. And there it is. It is now red, so we should now stop being spam teleported. I actually took a small break and came back at 2 a.m. to see how populated it would be in the middle of the night. And it's actually very empty. So what I'm going to do now is going to make a one hour test before I go to bed to see how many kills an hour I can actually get when I have the place basically to myself. I think there's like two other people here. You know, additionally to killing the undead pirates, I actually cleave down some of the elder chaos druids. You can see that on my loot tracker it says 17. After this, I'm going to hide that though, so we always see the pirates. But that means during this grind, I'll kill a couple of hundred or even thousands of these elder chaos druids, which can actually drop the elder chaos druid gear, which are all worth a couple of hundred thousand GP each. So that could be extra income from this grind. 
I was actually waiting for this. Look at the middle of the arena. We have the Dragon Scimitar drop at a bit over the drop rate. These are 1 in 362. And this is actually not the only Dragon Weaponry that drops here. You can also get the Dragon Dagger and the Dragon Longsword. Level 22 to 34 monsters, dropping three types of Dragon Weaponry, which you previously had to buy from stores as an Iron Man. Now, after the Monkey Madness 1 quest or Lost City quest, you can just go here and get them. Oh nice, very shortly after like what, 10 KC later we have the Dragon Dagger as well. Oh my god, all within the one hour test we have got every single Dragon Weaponry. Of course kinda lucky to get them all without any duplicates, but that's really cool. 663 KC for every Dragon Weaponry drop. And here we are at the end of the one hour and we have got 860 KC in this one hour test, which is kind of crazy. And oh, we also get a Laren's key at the end of that one hour. 1 in 362 drop rate just like the dragon weaponry and all the keys that I do get, the zombie pirate keys and the Laren's keys, we are going to open the respective chests at the end of this grind. This is what loot from 1000 undead pirates look like and this has taken me like 1 hour and 15 minutes, 1 hour 20 minutes. Well, we have the first PK -er, Holy Merica, not the most, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, not the most threatening PK -er I've seen and my teleblock is removed in 50 seconds, so even if he would freeze me all the time land every single freeze which is it definitely doesn't seem like he's doing i should be fine i i have enough food to live here and it took 1025 kc for this to happen he did call on a partner but that doesn't matter the mystic heroes did not have enough damage to get me before my teleblock expired I just had the most insane trip you can imagine. Look at this, 928,000 GP. And that was like, what, 350 KC, something like that. Stayed a bit longer this time. Didn't pick up every single small drop there was. Oh my god, yo, look at this team. Oh, I, I need to see who they're attacking. Oh my god, they're gonna delete people. Deliska deleted. You know, at points like this, I'm happy I'm maxed combat. I have been actually thinking about bringing the Amulet of Avarice, which constantly scolds you at all times, because it actually notes everything that drops in this area, so I will never really have to bank. But of course, that brings a massive risk, because if a team comes in and I get smited, I would lose my Venator bow, losing 66. 7 million GP. So for now, I'm not going to do it quite yet, but in the future, I might give it a shot. That's it! The grind is over! The teleport anchoring scroll on 3.4k KC. I'm kind of sad we already got it, honestly. I mean, I was kind of enjoying this. The money is crazy that you get here, but I guess we're not going to get to try the Amulet of Avarice, but that is another challenge completed. There it is in the looting bag, 10.4 million. Of course, we know that's not actually the value of the scroll, more like 6 million, but that's of course still a very good value. And that is now also at the bottom there, the item unlocked on the collection log. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll try to complete the entire Slayer log if I'm crazy enough. Before we actually open these keys, I do want to show how much money we would have made if we actually sold the keys. So first off, we're going to be selling the teleport anchoring scroll, Insta sold 5.5, yeah, pretty much 5.54. And now these keys, the Laren's keys would be worth 1 million GP roughly. And the zombie keys, if we click on these, it says they're 8k, but according to the GE tracker, they're going for 30k. So these alone would be like 4.5 million GP. But we're of course going to be using these and there is a possibility we actually profit from doing that. So let's see what will happen. Because we have so few of them, let's start off with the Laren's keys. And of course, for the big items here, we have the Dagon High items, which in my last on drop rate on these Laren's keys, I did get four row bottoms and three hats but no tops, so hopefully we can see one of those in these seven keys. Does unfortunately not seem like we're getting one of them. No, we did not, and we really didn't get anything too good except the Dragon Dart tips, but 600k, so we kind of lost like 300k on opening these keys. Now it's time for the big opening. We're going to be doing the Zombie Pirate keys, and we're going to bring 75 for the first trip and then 78 for the second one. I don't want to risk all of them in the same trip in case I do die. We're bringing a lot of food as well, so hopefully we're going to be fine. And so here we are at the pirate ship. Hopefully no PKers is going to come. And here are the pirate lockers as well. Let's go ahead and open the first pirate's locker to see what we get. And we get four blighted super stores. Did I get... Did I put that into... Oh, it just automatically went into my looting bag. I guess that's pretty convenient. Even though the rewards I'm getting right now doesn't seem to be super good. We've opened, what, nine keys and I've got 97k. 
It says on the wiki that the average key, including the teleport scroll, is worth around 50,000 GP. So it's actually 20k profit roughly per key to open the chest instead of just selling them if you do get a scroll. Which has a drop rate of 1 in 275 keys. Ooh, we got two dragon longswords. Everything from the locker, by the way, is the same drop table as the pirate zombies. But these ones are duplicated. So if you would get one dragon longsword, of course, you get two this time, two rune maces, all these things. And also, by the way, I'm seeing that my looting bag is already full, so I guess I can't bring this many keys per trip. Second trip completed, 29 keys. This one worth slightly less, actually. Yo, a second dragon item drop. Not as good as the dragon longsword, but always nice to see. Now, one of the problems with doing new releases like this is that the loot tracker is not working for this specific thing. So I will have to show you guys the loot every time. 550k for this round. And on exactly 100 keys open, we get the last dragon item here as well, the dragon scimitars. Unfortunately, all of these dragon items are the same drop rate as getting two Larens keys, which is like 300k value. So kind of unfortunate we haven't seen any of those yet. Probably only one trip left to go after this one. We have 39 keys and 600k for this trip. I have not seen a single peak here here, so I freed up some more space, bringing way less food. So hopefully we can finish up the last keys on this trip. Oh, yo, no way, we actually got it. Oh, 141. We have actually made a lot of profit now off of these keys. And I guess we have 12 more to go. I'm actually going to teleport out, bank this to make sure I don't get PK'd and then finish off the last ones. But down to the last five keys. Let's go ahead and finish this off. See if we can get another teleport scroll. Imagine that would be insane profits. Some cannonballs, three more to go. Laren's keys would also be really good. It's like 350k. We have a PK. Level 92, we're all good. And one last key for Rune Swords. But I cannot complain. We got really lucky. 200k for the last one. Let's go ahead and settle the scroll and see what we can get for it. It seems to be still going for roughly 5.5 million, but I'll just put it in for 5 million and see if it actually insta sells. Yes, it does. For, yes, 5.5 million. So just from scrolls in this video, we made like 11 million. And overall, from the keys and all the loot, we made like 20 something million. So we actually made from 3,500 zombies 30 million GP profit. Now, of course, I'm a maxed account, but I was getting 860 kills an hour and we did 3.4k zombies, meaning it took roughly 4 hours hours to do this entire grind. And that means I was getting 7.5 million GP profit per hour, killing level 22 to 34 zombies. And even if you are a lower tier player, you can still get a cannon pretty early on and do this fairly efficiently and probably still get 3 to 4 mil an hour, making this by far the best early game money maker. So Creator Crafted has recently started working with Crumb to introduce these awesome RuneScape themed figurines to their store. My personal favorite being the Jad one. They have also introduced a collection of plushies made by the Golden Gnome winner which he crafted to snuggle in bed with or just enjoy as decorations. And if none of that interests you, they of course still have their awesome LED light collection and gorgeous mouse mats. All of these items go on a limited stock, so head over to my link in the description, have a look around and use code ALONE10 to get 10% off site-wide.